So the other day, my uh, air conditioner blower uh, stopped working as good as it should. It was still blowing, but it wasn't blowing very fast. And uh, it started making noise, like a metallic scraping noise. So um, I uh, went in the crawl space and uh, took the fan out, which was an endeavor by itself. But uh, I got the uh, fan out, the entire fan scroll. Then I took the motor, just detached the motor from the fan as housing. And this is what I end up with. This is the motor shaft. These are ball bearing. The motor itself is in pretty good shape. Uh, you got this ball bearing here and the ball bearing there. So the motor spins very freely. The problem is this, uh, this is called an ECM motor, elect, um, electronically commutated motor. And um, it's a variable speed motor. And the way it works is uh, it gets 120 volts in a uh, rectifier inverter, converts the 120 into a DC voltage to spin the motor at varying speed. Um, in the case of this motor, um, the controller looks like the controller is fine. The motor is the problem. This is the guts of the motor. This is the armature. And um, it's made of uh, three magnets glued to a center pole piece. And um, this is one of the, well, just the magnets grabbed up a bunch of bolts. But uh, this is the magnet that was glued on there, and it came loose. So. Um, it was still attached, but since it's magnetic, it's, it still clings to the armature. But at high speeds, I guess the centrifugal force slings it away. And you see how it was grinding. It was grinding against the windings inside the motor. You can see the line right there. So that um, the, the faster it tried to spin, it would sling out and it would start grinding against the uh, against the winding, uh, I guess the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, core of the windings going around the perimeter of the motor. So what I'm trying to do, or what I'm going to do, is um, I'm cleaning up the uh, old glue. I'm using a Dremel tool and a metal cutting blade that's kind of like a grinding wheel. And I'm grinding all the old glue, it's kind of a hard plastic, grinding all the old glue off the uh, armature. And I'm going to re-glue it, and I'm just going to try JV Weld. I don't, I don't have the industrial uh, glue that, that was glued on originally, and apparently it doesn't work that great anyway, since this came apart. But um, I'm gonna try some JV Weld. It says it's to 5,000 psi tensile strength, and I think the glue I looked up uh, glues it magnet. Let's see what they call them ECM magnet motor glues uh, for industrial applications, and um, I think the glue I found was I want to say 6,000 psi. So JV Weld is close to that. So I'm gonna try some JV Weld and see what happens. But first, I've got to finish glue. Uh, excuse me, uh, grinding all this old glue off this armature so I can glue the new magnet back or glue the old magnet back on. All right, I now have uh, as much of the glue as I can get uh, ground off with a Dremel tool. Um, I use a small Dremel tool and a metal cutting blade and uh, just use it like a little grinding wheel and, and ground all the old plastic uh, or epoxy glue, whatever it was, off this armature. So now I'm about to mix up some JB Weld and uh, saturate the uh, surface here and then put the magnet back on. Uh, the magnet sticks. I don't even think I need any clamps. That magnet clings like crazy. Uh, once I get it on, I have to position it in the right spot, obviously, but um, it, once it's on there, it's holding on pretty snug. And uh, it's supposed to allow 24 hours for this glue to dry, but I'm gonna put, try to put it back in tonight, have it working tonight. We're right in the middle of kind of a heat wave, and it sucks to not have air conditioning right now. In a pinch, if I didn't, if I could repair this, um, I would just uh, try to find a standard uh, permanent split capacitor squirrel cage motor and uh, hot wire my air conditioner to run and get me through the summer. But uh, I'd rather try to fix this once for all because I hate going in that crawl space and in that nasty environment and uh, trying to replace this fan motor. One time is enough, so I'm going to try to do it right the first time and see if it works. All right, I now have the JB Well mixed. I uh, made too much, but uh, and I mix it up and I put it on this armature. And I'm about to glue the magnet on the JB Well. I need to hurry up for it dry. All right, the magnet is now uh, epoxied in place and uh, trying to maintain the gaps properly. But um, the magnet's in place. I've got plenty of extra JB Well in case anybody needs some. Of course, you better hurry because it'll be hard in about five minutes. So anyway, I'm gonna let this uh, cure for, it says, uh, it says on the package that it has to be cured for uh, four to six hours and a uh, full cure is reached and, or it sets in four to six hours and a full cure is reached in 15 to 24 hours. 
Um, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm putting this thing in and hoping to have it running uh, this evening. Um, it's got a full tensile strength of 5,020 PSI. And uh, I think the glue I read, the industrial glue that I use for this stuff is about 3,000. So maybe it'll hold when it's not fully cured. Um, I may not run it. It'll be nighttime when I get this thing back in, so I may just wait till in the morning to let it run. That'll give it another 12 hours to cure. So, um, it's about 15 hours from now. Alright, that's my repair. Um, actually, I'll show the uh, reassembly of this thing when I get it back home to uh, put it in.